It's the Big Trap and Q Show. They waiting for just another damn podcast. Now let's go. Go, go. That's right. That's right. Let's go. It's the Big Trav and Q Show. And uh, joining us today is is an actor, is a is a producer, uh, is a is a uh, is a uh, a father, dedicated father. Uh, he's a youth advocate. Uh, uh, let me see what else. What else he do? Uh, <laughs> anyway, he's also a dope MC, man. I was uh, listen, man. I was when I was researching you, I came ac- I came across. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Where is it at? I came across. I came across this, man. Yeah, I took the man route, never needed no head, yo. No sleep is what Yo. I heard a thousand no's before I heard a yes. That's why after every show, I beat on my chest. Didn't do it by my- That's dope, man. How, how long How long you been spitting? Man, I've been rapping, man, since I want to say eight years old, but I really started taking it serious around 12, 13. You know what I'm saying? And, right. Um, of course, you know... Uh, with the wire being the first television series that i that i ever was casted for and that being my first audition of course the acting took over but in 2012 that's when i really started putting out records like the same strictly about music record you just heard i started putting records out like dedicated father and bt revolt you know mtv they all started just jamming to my music man and playing my videos so you know, it, it's definitely dope to be able to play in all the fields, you know, as an actor, as an author, as a hip hop artist. I'm, I'm just I'm very fortunate to still be in the game, man, over 25 years later. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, man, Putin came a long way, huh? Hey, you know, it. You know, <laughs> man, Poop, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, back in 2002, man, of June, The Wire was my first television gig ever as an actor and you know, I was able to learn so much from from the creators over there at HBO, David Simon, Nina Noble, Robert Coesbury, you know, and um, all of the actors, man, you know, Wood Harris, Idris Elba, Michael B. Jordan. And um, after The Wire ended, I, I caught that independent buzz where I started creating my own films. And, you know, I remember selling films my merchandise out the trunk of my car on 13th and f in washington dc which is where i'm from and um you know that buzz just laid up man i i caught like a real street buzz where a lot of people just started you know gravitating to my merchandise my positivity me wanting to see everybody win you know putting great energy out there and then boom saints and sinners come calling knocking at my door in 2015 man and five seasons later on saints and sinners which is Bounce TV's number one show doing great numbers on the network, and I'm just honored, bro. Like I said, to still be in the game. Shout out to Saints and Centers, Bounce TV, man. They doing their thing. Number one show on the network. Number one show on Sunday. Yeah. Uh, talk about Saints and Centers, man, because that's hot right now, man. You you blazing right now. Talk about talk about doing that doing that project. Well, Saints and Centers, man. Um, you know, I was casted as the character Kendrick Murphy. I played the son of Clifton Powell, Vanessa Bell Calloway. Right. Um, if anybody is just getting familiar with Saints and Sinners, we've been on for five seasons and it takes place in Cypress, Georgia. You know, it's based around the church, but all of these members that go to the church, man, you don't know who's a saint. Who's a saint. <laughs> you know, so with these juicy storylines and these amazing actors, like I named Vanessa Bell Calloway and Clifton Powell. We also have Jasmine Burke. We got Yo. David Banner. Tristan Keys, man, Keith Robinson. Yo. Man, some of the amazing actors and actresses on that show, man. And I'm just, I'm honored to, you know, be a part of a series that, that is in the fifth season. You know, a lot of shows, they don't make it five seasons, you know. So just nah. to be on a show, man. Like The Wire was the last show that I was on. It was five seasons. And now I'm in fifth season of Saints and Sinners. And it's just it's, it's it's a dream come true for me man and i'm just honored and humble you know to be a part of it. exactly let you know what let, let's talk about uh secret society man shout out to to erica and uh and uh and Raina. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and oh what's up with oh man oh, oh buying purple bentley's and stuff man what's going on with all that man real rap that was a rose royce man you know and shout out to my man rich coleman man that chain Oh my God, my 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 neck was frozen. You know, <laughs> but, um, you know uh, Secret Society is is an amazing film. Miyasha Coleman wrote, 
and and created and um it, it follows these two women you know uh celeste and tina which is played by Raina love who plays celeste and erica pinkett who plays tina and this film you know it follows them on the journey of their lavish lifestyle you know they have these men you know such as myself and, and a lot of other amazing actors man and, you know just like paying for this lavish lifestyle that they live funding their their whole journey but they both share a jaw-dropping secret that if it's revealed it could turn bad and and i mean it's 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 like a another film you know yasha wrote a film that's filled with twists and turns and it's um you know like i said jaw-dropping things get revealed and my character oh is the character that's in love with um rain of love's character celeste oh will do anything for her. and oh also shares a secret that this jaw dropping as well to the audience and celeste that that, that that really makes people look at just society in a different light you know this film for us was was really about being who you are having an identity being true to yourself um and, and and it's really man it's top five on amazon prime right now you know vivica fox is in it. jeremy meeks vincent de paul kevin savage yo Jason, my man ty hopkins i mean so many kevin yo people i can name man and um the soundtrack drops this friday april 23rd shout out to my man julian booth you know who's putting this whole thing together and um my song one, one of a kind is featured on the soundtrack so not only am I acting as the character O, but Trey Chaney got a song called One of a Kind featured on the Secret Society. You you mean you mean you you yo 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 you mean this? Girl strip. Take them Vicky secrets off now. Show us how you really get down. Yo. <laughs> yeah. That's it? <laughs> oh, yeah. That's dope. Yeah. That's dope, baby. Now let me okay one more question to get you out of here. I know you got to run. I, okay, between between uh uh between uh uh O, Kendrick and Poot, which one which one are you more like? Um That's a hard one, man, because I had to I had to dig deep for all three characters. You know, and 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 I think that that's the when I think, I definitely know that's the beauty of me being an actor. Like, Poop was a low-level drug dealer that, that was a follower, that followed behind the Barksdales, and, you know, anything he'd get his hands on dealing with the women, it was, you know, and, and, and Trey Chaney, I'm a leader, you know, so it was it was definitely digging deep into that character. Um, Kendrick Murphy is this broken, this broken young man that comes from wanting to have acceptance from his family and you know, just because he was dealt certain cards in his past doesn't dictate his future. So he's on this journey and on his quest to just get the acceptance. He wants to do right, but every time you think something is going right for Kendrick, it goes left. So I, so you know, I, I, I guess I can relate to Kendrick in a way because you know that's just life in general for all of us. Right. I think everybody can relate to Kendrick. You know, sometimes you have to understand the yin and yang sign, which is when it's so much light you know when you're this positive light you got to be prepared for the darkness so that's in a way i can relate to kendrick now O is a hustler he getting money he grinding you know he's he's in love with who he's in love with and and he's just he's he's this character that everybody loves of course like i said he shares this jaw-dropping secret which is um totally opposite from you know who I am as a man, as a husband, as a father, right. as a grandfather. But it was just, it was very fun, a very fun experience. I had never read a script like Secret Society in my life. Yeah, that that was wild. I had I had never seen a movie like it in my life. So I haven't. I had neither. So I had to. I had to almost. You know, when actors get that, get that film, you you, you know, if you should take it or you know you got options to, to be like okay i'll pass or i'll take it i knew i was so confident in who i was as trey cheney as the man as the husband as right. the father as the grandfather and so i was willing to say you know what as an actor i want to step my game all the way up and i'm going to step out 
of this body. I'm going to step out of Trey Cheney and become up because it's a lot of O's running around the country right now. Exactly. That can relate to that guy, you know? So I just, man, I have so much fun playing these characters, man. And, and um, I'm just, I'm honored. I got something that, that, you know, we wait until the ink dry, but shout out to my man Terrell from out of Philly. I'm getting ready to do this joint called Karma. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's big, you know what I'm saying? So shout out to my man Terrell. Real, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm honored, man, because I just got the call for this new movie called Karma, and yeah, this, this character that I'm gonna play, I ain't even gonna mention no more. I'm, okay, I, okay. That was, just, <laughs> that was a sneak, like, like a sneak peek right there, just me mentioning it on the DJ Big Track the Future. It's funny, it's funny you say Karma, because I was talking to my wife, and I said, uh, I said Pooh got Karma when he killed Wallace. I said when when O got killed when O got killed in Secret Society I said that was payback for Wallace. That was payback. <laughs> I know, I know, right? That's messed up, wasn't it? That's crazy. Okay, check this out. I'm gonna get you out of here on this, man. I just want to get your thoughts on the uh, on the verdict, man. The uh, Derek Chauvin uh, guilty verdict. I want to get your get your thoughts right quick. Man, I, I am just I'm I'm so glad justice w- was finally served. You know, rest in peace to George Floyd. Um, condolences still to him and you know his entire family. My prayers are with them, man. I'm just, I, I'm, I'm glad that we finally, as as black people, feel that that was the fair verdict. Right. I agree. I agree. Okay. I just wanted to remind everybody about about some things you got going on. Um, it says you produce a web series called Dedicated Fathers. Uh, has yeah. an edu- has an educational program called the Curriculum, a uh, platform for hip hop music youth, and yeah. um, undeniable uh, the the Trey Cheney story. Um, you wanna you wanna say anything on those things? Yeah, undeniable the Trey Cheney story, man, is basically my documentary. You know, I have testimonials from Big Daddy Kane, Clifton Powell, Kenny Lattimore, Vanessa Bell Calloway, Yo. from The Wire. Keith Robinson, um, we're getting ready to probably release this on an independent platform because, you know, with the movie theaters and, and everything now, everything is pretty much going to a streaming, but Undeniable is basically what the title stands for. It's my talent, my hustle, my drive. You can't deny it. You know, I've been in the business for a very long time, made a lot of great relationships, and I'm getting ready to to just inspire the world with never giving up. And Regardless of the circumstances, stay committed to the dream, stay committed to the process, and eliminate the outcome. A lot of people get caught up in the reward, but it's time to, you know, move forward, man, and just say, you know what, I'm going to become undeniable. And that's what the whole journey is about. It's, it's footage of me as a kid, you know, dancing at the Apollo. It's, you know, like I said, all these different testimonials from these heavy hitters in the industry who... Um, you know, I have a very close relationship with them, but, you know, hearing them speak about how I made them feel was, was very touching, you know, and, and I didn't even, I just called called for some favors. I said, yo, I, I, can y'all be on my doc- documentary? And, and they, without hesitation, you know, jumped in. And, that's what's up, man. Well, check this out, uh, Trey. Thanks for joining us today, man. I really appreciate it, man. I know you're on fire right now, man. So, so thanks for blessing us with your, with your, uh, with you know, with your presence, man. I really appreciate it. I had fun, bro. I can't wait till this is out so I can post it. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get it up right away. Um, go ahead and give out your your social media handles for for those that that want to uh, reach out to you. So Instagram is dedicated father series page. Just look up Trey Cheney. And you're going to get dedicated for the series page. That's my one and only IG because all of the other ones were hacked. I don't know what's going on with IG. I'm still trying to haul at them about that. Um, Twitter is at Trey Chaney. That's T-R-A-Y-C-H-A-N-E-Y. Um, Facebook, Trey Chaney, Trey Poo Chaney. I'm always communicating back and forth with my fans and supporters and just people who, you know, reach out to, to just talk and get inspired. So, man, y'all can follow me all over. Yo, ladies and gentlemen, man, the the multi-talented man, yeah. the multi-talented man, yeah. uh, Trey you. Chaney. Thanks for joining us, man. I appreciate you, man. Stay safe. Hey, man, thank you. You do the same, brother. Oh, uh, no problem. One. Peace. It's the Big Trap and Q Show. They waiting for just another damn podcast. Now let's go. Go, go, go. 
Yo, man, that was uh, Trey Cheney from uh, Saints in the Centers. Man, that's popping right now. Man, that's blazing right now. Um, his movie, um, uh, Secret Society, is on uh, uh, Amazon Prime or Prime Video. Uh, you can rent that. Um, uh, you can catch uh, episodes of The Wire. Uh, you can get the, you can get those pretty much anywhere. Um, he also in a movie with Meek Mill called The Streets. That's pretty cool. With uh, Nefessa Williams is in there, and uh, of course Meek Mill. So check that out. Um, like he said, he has a, a single coming out on the Secret Society soundtrack this Friday. The song is called One of a Kind. Here it is right here. Girl strip. Take them Vicky secrets off now. Show us how you really get down. Yo. So uh let me let me get all that off the screen there. Uh let's see, there we go. There we go. Okay. Uh I think that's it. Um Oh, yeah, you know, the uh, Secret Society soundtrack drops on Friday. Uh, one of a kind. Make sure you guys go check that out. Cop that. Um, I think that's it, man. Uh, it was a, it was a joy to have Poot on. Shout out to my man Q. My man Q helped me get tuned up for this. Shout out to my man Hollywood. Hollywood. Um, we got a uh, um, we got another special guest tomorrow. We got Young Ra, the rapper actor Young Ra. Is, uh, he'll be with us tomorrow at 630 so tune back in uh, tomorrow to check uh, Young Ra. Uh, and um, and then on Friday, of course, uh, Big Trav in Hollywood will be back at uh, 6 o'clock on Friday, man. So, uh, one, see y'all then. It's the Big Trav and Q Show. They waiting for just another damn podcast. Now let's go. Go, go.